Hi everyone, my name is Hardeep Ishmani. I'm one of the social workers at the Halton Catholic District School Board. Um, I wanted to make a video today about, um, for parents actually, around how to set expectations for their adolescent during this time of self-isolation. Uh, it's not an exhaustive list, but it does provide a couple of tips and tricks on how to, um, you know, make this time a little bit more bearable for uh, you and your child. Um, so the first tip is obviously it's kind of obvious, but it's around the idea that um, why we're even staying at home. So what does flatten the curve mean? Adolescents tend to have a really high um, sense of social justice nowadays. So for them to understand that we're protecting the vulnerable, um, we're not doing just doing this for ourselves, but to keep everybody else healthy um, sometimes resonates with them. Um, along with that though, we also, and this is the second point, is that we want to validate their experience. They're not just feeling frustrated that they can't go out and see their friends, um, but they're feeling scared. They might be anxious. They might be um, worried worried or stressed out about the state of the world, lots of different experiences that they may feel. And the most important thing as parents that we can do is to validate those experiences. What does validation look like? Validation means, I get it. I understand. That's not fun. It doesn't feel good. I understand how this feels. I get it too. I feel that too. That in and of itself, those statements will be good enough. We don't have to look for the, you know, the silver lining. We don't have to be positive. We don't have to do any of those things. In that moment, we can sit in their distress with them. And let's be honest, we have some of this distress too. So we can honor that and we can honor our own feelings and honor that within our adolescent as well. Share in the human experience with them. They can know that you're also feeling uncertain, that you're also maybe feeling a little bit worried and sad about what may be going on. That's okay because be together we can get through it and them knowing that they're not alone, um, number one, it helps them settle but also helps them come to you next time when they're also feeling this again, you know, in the future. So it's a really, really important um, it's a really important uh, a strategy and it's something that we should do all the time. Um, then we also want to be able to kind of be a little bit more flexible with regards to kind of our expectations, right? So especially with school, um, they don't have to be in school from 8.20 until 2.20 every single day. That's not realistic. Um, I think it's important to set ne like negotiate with them and have a conversation about what that can look like. You know, there should be some time for school, but it shouldn't be where you're forcing it because they will buck at that. And so you want to have a co-creating a plan on how what to do around schoolwork. Um, the other piece is developmentally, they are super um, connected to their friends. This is a very huge thing for them as adolescents. So this time of self-isolation doesn't allow that. So what you want to do is be a little bit more flexible around the device use. So, you know, your child may play video games for a long time, but if they're playing online, they may be playing with their friends. Um, any the social media connection, the texting, um, all those things, FaceTime, you know, all these different kinds of video conferencing platforms and gaming platforms that are even on your phone um, can help students connect with their friends. And we want to encourage that. We want them to um, have that. But set limits, of course, have those conversations together about, you know, having those times to do that kind of stuff. Um, and that's basically it. I think, it, like I said, it's not an exo exhaustive list, but I really wanted you guys to know um, that we're all in this together. We're all trying to figure this out. So it's okay that you don't have the right answers or even any answers at all, because we don't need to have them. Um, just be flexible, be supportive, be validating. And honestly, that's going to go a really, really long way to helping your teen settle, but also to help you settle as well. Hopefully this was very helpful for you guys. You can maybe take a couple of these things, share this, um, and uh, we want to support you guys as best we can. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.